Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Air Benetero. Today we're going to do your general love read for the end of June. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they can't possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card. But more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. And doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for our reading. And then I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, I heard the song Since You've Been Gone by Day 26. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading. Um, the message that I picked up with that is that somebody, and, and I see, this is very a very specific message, but I have to put it out there because this is what I, I'm getting from this. You guys have someone who is like, you, they can't get you off their mind or vice versa. You can't get this person off of your mind. Now what I picked up also was that Somebody has something that belongs to someone, like a shirt, a hoodie. I'm seeing a hoodie specifically, or just something that what I'm hearing is like it has your scent to it. Like this person is constantly reminiscing about the scent, your scent, the way you smell, the way you looked in that item. It's something that you have that this person is they won't relinquish their hold on. Because I also seen the fourth pentacles in my in my third eye, and you know, for you guys. You guys who've been watching my channel, you know that the four of pentacles for me is like my holding on for dear life. Like I'm not letting go of this, this or that. Whatever the situation is, the, this thing or this person, I'm not relinquishing and I, I have to keep a hold on it. And I feel like this individual is like holding on to that because that's the only thing that they have that belongs to you that reminds them of you. And like I said, even as I'm talking, I'm hearing a song since you've been gone. Like this person is like really going through the motions since you've been going in there they're thinking about you deeply or you could be thinking about them again apply it to where how it fits in your situation okay so i'm going to show you guys there are absolutely no reversals <laughs> in either deck at the bottom of the deck for your main deck you have the judgment card this person wants reconciliation somebody wants to come back and i often see in the comments that people are upset and saying like i don't want anyone from your past you have free will you have the right to do that but that doesn't change how the other person feels you know somebody definitely wants to come back and then keep in mind we are currently in mercury retrograde that always brings people back from your past people situations that need to be resolved situations that need to be dealt with it always brings it back so i feel like during this time during this season especially for this retrograde it's going to be very powerful for a lot of you guys out there okay so again there are absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks somebody's going to come in i'm telling you guys it could be an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius sun moon rising venus with the knight of swords I always tell you guys, when I see a card and the swords are up, that's yes. Swords is down, no. And this sword is up. This person is coming in. This horse is already in movement. And they're coming in with some communication. They're coming in quickly. But you had a ten of wands. And I feel like this is you guys. You guys feel like this individual or this relationship was a burden. This was heavy. Nonetheless, this person is coming in towards you. You see how they're going in this direction? This person is, they don't want to let you go. I can tell you that right now. At the bottom of your clarifying deck, they want to come in. They're going to have some extreme emotions that they want to share with you. Even I'm even seeing for some of you guys, and I know that's unbelievable, especially when we talk about men. This person may have cried about you or have felt like they were going to be on the verge of tears. Even when this person comes back to you, I feel like this person is going to be pouring out their heart to you. I am picking that up also. Again, there's no reversals in either one of these decks. Mm. Okay, so again, definitely strong air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person left you feeling heartbroken, and also they're very heartbroken. They feel stabbed in the back, but more than anything, I feel like you stabbed in the back. You literally go from the 9 to the 10. There was a lot of conflict with the 5 of Wands between you and this individual. Look at that, more swords. But you with the Page of Swords, you guys know this is the I Spy card. This person is watching you on social media, um, adding some friends, mutual friends about you. This person is still checking up on you. I feel like during the separation, right, because the sun, because now I'm hearing the sun again, since you've been gone, since you've been gone, this person has taken time to reflect and think about their actions and what it is that they did. And look at that, shine that light right in the direction of nine of swords. Now they're heartbroken in there in their head. They can't sleep at night. You know, they, they can't sleep. They're thinking about you quite a bit. This could be you also, but I feel like this is the other person. They, they know they really messed up bad, okay? So as we powered the deck so that we could shuffle, there was definitely an ending. Both major arcana, you had a death card. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Then again, you had a judgment card. I feel like somebody really, really, 
I'm hearing, looking at this, I'm hearing like, even though this is a sword, remember, swords up, yes, this is sword down, there's no, there was an ending or something. I feel like this, something that they did was the final nail in a coffin, I'm hearing that. Pun intended, because the death card coffin, right? I feel like somebody really realized that they really messed up. And then also keep in mind, Scorpio, this is your card, the death card. I feel like you were the one who put an end into this situation. Oh, I said Scorpio, so some of you guys are dealing with Scorpio. I know this is the reading for Sagittarius, so some of you guys were dealing with Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visual. Yep. They want to come out of being left out in the cold, right? Because you have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles upright is feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, literally hung to dry. It's coming up in reverse. This person, especially if you are dealing with a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, they want to come out of that. So let's get two cards for our Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. One is going to be a general energy, and the second is going to be a possible outcome. Absolutely. Look at her. You have the Five of Pentacles looking in the direction of the Six of Cups. This is somebody you have history with. That's why I told you guys everyone hates when you say something about past people coming back in. This is definitely a past energy, and then we just seen the just the uh, Judgment card in the beginning. This is definitely someone from your past who wants to come back in. They are really regretting their actions. And then with it coming up right next to the Five of Pentacles, mm -mm, they want to come out of being left out in the cold. Absolutely. Look at that. The Tower card. This is your card, Scorpio. And then also Aries. I keep saying Scorpio. I'm t Some of you guys are dealing with Scorpio. This is the card of Scorpio and also Aries. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with Scorpio. Some of rising Venus. And that makes sense because you have Six of Cups. Cups of Scorpio energy also. Some of you guys are dealing with a um, <clears throat> Scorpio predominantly. Some will rise to Venus. And then with the death card, I'm also hearing, <coughs> excuse me, during Scorpio season, there might have been a breakup this past, not this year because it hasn't come up yet, this past Scorpio season, something really dramatic and traumatizing could have happened. Because keep in mind, we have the tower. And then it's right next year. There could have been like a constant tug of war between you and this person. You got a five of wands here. There could have been a constant um, tug of war with you and this person, I feel like, Sag. Yeah. You guys are definitely dealing with someone who has strong fire sign. I mean, um, Scorpio placements, most definitely. Four nice, nice deal of you all. Okay. Eight of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're no longer in your head about them, but they're definitely in their head about you. And I know that because they keep popping up into my reality and I keep wanting to speak on them. Especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio or someone rising for this individual. So let's get a possible, a general energy and then a possible outcome for our Sagittarius. Someone rising for this individuals. I feel like you guys could be thinking about them too because I'm channeling you guys' energy and for it to keep popping up, you guys could be thinking about them also and the way that it went down. I feel like it was very traumatizing for a great deal of you all. Your own card, the temperance card, in reverse. You guys no longer have patience for this individual. I feel like they just put you through so much and you no longer have patience. You, you feel like there would never be any healing with this individual, so you decided to let it go. <laughs> but they coming back. They're like, I don't care what you're talking about. I'm coming back. I'm coming back towards you, and I'm coming quickly. Remember earlier we seen that Knight of Swords, and then you have the Chariot card, and that's a major arcana. Two major arcanas so far. Yep. They're coming back towards you. Let's get a possible outcome. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three of Swords in reverse, and look what's peeking up behind it. You're coming out of heartbreak. Wow, look at that. And right up under that was the Two of Cups. Absolutely. You walk away from somebody. Again, Cups, air, Water, and... Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. Again, I'm going to say some of you guys were definitely dealing with a water sign, particularly Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You have Fire right here, which is your energy, and then Water right here. And I feel like you you felt like this situation fizzled out. It just died out between the two of you guys. That's why it's coming up in reverse. You're like, enough is it's enough with the situation. You have no more patience for the situation. You're done. And you're healing. This person really broke your heart with three of swords, but it's coming up in reverse, which is absolutely positive. Yep. Since you've been gone, I'm hearing the song again. Some of you guys definitely want to listen to that song. Definitely. And at the bottom of your clarifying deck, right? You got an Ace of Cups. Again, I'm telling you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign. I see what's peeking out right here. Yep, this is someone that you felt like was a, a life partner. The Emperor, I always tell you guys, when you see the Emperor, the Empress is not too far behind and vice versa. This is a divine counterpart. The Emperor and the Empress are always a spouse. So this is something you could have, someone you could have been married to, engaged to, or talking about marriage with. And you realize that you have to cut ties with them because something... I'm hearing fed up. 
it was something that they were doing that just made you feel like I'm fed up, I'm tired of this, I'm done with it. That's what I'm picking up. And it, it was some heartbreak involved in it. Extreme heartbreak. Because keep in mind, we also seen a tower card, right? Yep. There were secrets. As we parked the deck, you had a moon card. Now, the moon card, again, you guys have a lot of water energy. So you definitely were dealing with someone who has strong water sign placements. This is the card of Pisces and um, Tarot, but also Cancer, right? And it's right next to this Ace of Cups. And this is Major Arcana. You have Major Arcana here, and then you have Ace right here. This is a major cycle that you are ending or that you ended with someone. I just seen a double card. Very, mm hmm what did I say? Possible third party. Three of Cups. More Cups, more water. There was possibly a third party situation. Because keep in mind, right, the moon card is always about things unknown, things unseen, things that we don't have clarity about. And that's upright. In reverse, you found out some things. And it has to possibly do with third party situation. Yeah. I am picking up a strong energy that this person is regretting some things. And I just seen the three of pentacles. Absolutely. They want to come out of the cold after you found out about a third party situation. Somebody got put out. Literally, because you see they're outside of this church or this building or whatever it is. They're outside of it. So, so you were possibly living with this individual and someone got put out. There was definitely an ending to something that had quite a bit of history to it. And did not tell you guys earlier, I seen that Four of Pentacles, somebody holding on for dear life is coming in reverse. This person is holding on to you, but I feel like now they're realizing that they have to let you go. Because you're, you see how he's chasing up behind her and she's not paying him any attention. This person, I feel like, has already reached out to you and has tried to communicate with you. And I've just seen a six of wands in reverse. This person's tried to communicate with you and you weren't giving them any of your energy. And they're realizing that this is a definite loss. Yep. But they're, they're still holding on to you. And I said, you're on their mind. They're holding on to you in their heart. You guys may have had a foundation together live together and you see in the background there's homes buildings things like that this person you guys have a quite a bit of history with this individual let's get a clarifier for the temperance card also one for the three of swords Abs wow now keep in mind remember what i seen earlier right we seen the emperor now you have the empress in reverse absolutely both of these are major arcana so you had a temperance card. Some of you guys, you were waiting for a long time for this person to pop the question and ask you to marry them. They never did. You lost patience with the temperance card in reverse and you decided to move away. Also, if you were with this person long term, you realized that who you thought was going to be your life partner, they were not. I'm also, yeah, I'm also hearing for those of you who resonate with twin flames, you feel like this, this is a false twin. Because the Empress and Emperor are definitely twin flame cards, right? And then you have the, um, the Knight of Wands. In reverse this is definitely your energy also at one point you were a playboy or a playgirl or you probably weren't so prone to settling down and I feel like you decided that you would do you would change your ways for this person and they let you down they definitely let you down Sag so let's get a clarifier for the three of swords for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus individuals I'm hearing Scorpio again some of you guys definitely have to do with Scorpio look at that two cards flipped out but the first one was the ten of Pentacles and then the Eight of Wands. And like I said, I feel like somebody's, they're definitely going to come back with some communication. And it's going to come back fast. This, and it also with the Eight of Wands, I always pick up the energy of like, it's going to be least expected. You're not going to be expecting this person to come through. <laughs> Even watching this, you're not going to be expecting it. It's just going to come from far left, literally far left. So for your possible outcome, you have a Three of Swords in reverse. Clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I'm going to tell you for some of you guys, I feel like a lot of you guys are not focused on love right now you're more so focused about your finances but then also keep in mind when i said about the three of the the third party stuff you got one two three people in this car there's somebody hiding behind this pillar and watching what's going on and you got the three of swords right here three people three of swords there was definitely possibly some third party situation for a great deal of you all and you see how she's looking at him like she doesn't believe what she's he's saying or she's trying to get some clarity about the situation there's also possibly a child involved for some of you guys and there could be a pregnancy also because you see how this pinnacle is right by her stomach area and then there's a child holding on to her i feel like like i said earlier for some of you guys there was definitely a solid foundation or what seemed like a solid foundation for some of you guys but then this person some third party interference got involved and turned your home upside down and i know that because i always say behind this little pillar right here there's this is a home but the house is upside down and for me that's like somebody was having extra 
marital or extra relationship affairs with someone outside of their home with that house upside down, right? And you see how the house is upside down is right over this third party, this third person who's hiding behind this. There was some third party interference, most definitely. But I'm going to tell you, a lot of you guys are coming out of this situation and there's a lot of healing that's going on for you all right now. And it's just as you're healing, this person is going to come back. And they're going to come in with some communication. I'm going to tell you specifically if you're dealing with a water sign, because this is clear as day. Keep in mind, this is your car, Sag. You got the fire here, this is your element, and then you got water. A lot of you guys were definitely dealing with a water sign, but keep in mind it came up in reverse. And I don't feel like it's in reverse because you're not balanced, because you're definitely coming into a balance, right? With three of swords in reverse, you're no longer heartbroken about it or you're coming out of heartbreak. I feel like more so than anything, you, you're letting this person go. You're healing and you're getting over this person because this person really puts you through a lot. Because I, I really strongly feel like this person puts you through quite a bit. And you realize you put so much of your time, effort, and energy into the situation. And they weren't who you thought they were. This is You feel like, no, this is not my life partner. And when I said that, when I first picked up this car, the time was 1555. So 555, five, five, you know, fives are all about change. And most of the time it's about changes that are something it gives me tower energy sometimes because it's like a change that you didn't predict and you didn't see coming and something that you were not prepared for and i feel like a lot of you guys were not prepared for especially finding out about some extramarital or some some outsider situation right and again you could have child or children with this person i am picking that up also for you guys okay so Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.